Welcome to Nightstand. I'm Barry. That's Naz. Hey, everybody. What? <laughs> Sorry. Right. Yeah, no. I mean, you got to get off that soapbox. Is that 1950s? offensive? I need an opening, though. I'm not. Do I sound like a milkman? Yeah. That's what I'm sort of trying to go for with my media personality. Is I gotta, that weird? I got to fix my Dunlap. Oh, well, so you're the Dunlap man, and I'm the milkman, and then together we make a community that it survives. Whoa, man. Does that Jeez, make how sense? Much, I mean, speaking of milk, how much of this milk have you had? Listen, man, nightstand mugs. Remember, 2028. 2028. Uh, so it's episode two. Season one, episode two. I can't believe and, we're here. Man, we got a treasure for you this week. Yes. Yeah, this week is a big one. Yeah. Uh, what is the topic today? I You told me to read the Google Doc. Yeah. I did not download the Google Doc on my phone because I'm technically a boomer. Um, you're not technically a boomer. I, you're, you're figuratively a boomer? Look, he doesn't do any show prep. It doesn't make a difference. The topic this week. Yes. Or the discussion, uh, you know, uh, thing we'll sit upon there. What All they right. call that a, a pulpit. Wait, you don't sit on a pulpit. No, you stand at one or behind but, one. I've done a lot of time in CCD. Yep. But Place. the last thing we need you to do is giving sermons at a church, I think. Me? Can we all agree on this? I mean, it would not be good. No. So the topic this week is the world wonders. The seven world wonders? There's seven. Of the ancient world. Yeah, the, that's why sometimes people will uh, sort of <clears throat> ingest, refer to something as the eighth wonder of the world doesn't exist there's always seven as far as i understand it's See, on like, the original nightstand i thought you said the eighth wonder of the world was your left bicep oh well bicep. <laughs> my right bicep you know i'm dominantly up in that right yeah right yeah i could have played quarterback yeah honestly quarterback for hmm. okay what? yeah sure no so seven wonders of the ancient world uh -huh. um read them off hey, listen what? we all <laughs> i left my phone at home are you serious i did but i think i know them yeah, check this. Okay, I'm gonna count. Put a bit on jeopardy. I'm gonna count. Number one, the Great Pyramids of Egypt. Yes, Giza. Uh, there's another one, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Yes. There's that big bastard at Carnassus. Yes. The Colossus of Rhodes. Yes. Uh, what am I at four? There's um that uh, that punk bastard with the chain wallet outside Seven Eleven. Okay, so this kid uh, I clearly know. I have them. Hang you on. You have them? Okay. Yeah. We'll just edit this out. I think Fun you said good. I think you said Carnassus. Okay. The Great Pyramid of Giza. I had that. The Great Wall of China. These are mixed. Oh, great. Oh, that was like, what year are we talking? Ming? Qing? King? I mean, Jeez. what's up? This kid's canceled. Stop Asian hate. Ming Dynasty. <laughs> Colossus of Rhodes. Great Pyramid of Giza. Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Statue of Zeus at Olympia. Temple of Artemis at Ephesus. Mm. Mausoleum of Halicarnassus. And yeah. Lighthouse of Alexandria. Obviously. I mean, were now, we not? Did you not know those? Can we start with the Colossus of Rhodes? Because boy, that boy's legs were spread. These like, MFers built out of a pure stone. I'm sure that's untrue. Um, this thing, and I don't know how tall it was, but if you do know, leave it in the comments section. I'm pretty, uh, with these comments. Oh, by the way, before we even talk about the Colossus's ripped thighs and his veiny ass subsection, okay, you gotta like it, subscribe, because if you don't. Actually, I don't even know what happens. I'm just always told to say this. No, I feel like in the comments section, your first time with a real YouTube show, I feel like you're going to go down there and be like, why isn't everybody commenting enough? And Did you're you say real YouTube show? Well, as real as you can get uh, in an upper room of a house. This is an upper room. We talked about this last time. Uh, the fake brick. Uh, we're in an upper room. That's right. Of a colonial. Beautifully redesigned to replicate the old studio. Um, one thing I really did want to say, and you know what? Speaking of the Colossus of Rhodes, if yeah. you notice the knight's stature, this is similar to how the Colossus of Rhodes would have looked yeah. back in back then. That's true. Um, you might be wondering what the hell is nightstand? Now, we forgot right. to mention that in the first episode. Sorry. Okay. So, uh, nightstand hmm. was based on our high school mascot. Right. The Scarlet Knights. Can That's we say right. that? Yeah, we can say there's a thousand of them in communities all across this okay. great nation. Now, understanding that knights were soldiers of imperialism and, uh, you know, as my father would say, ruiners. Um, 
we had to keep the name for nostalgic purposes, mm. but understand that we do not uh, co-sign with the wars started. I mean, by we're these talking men. about three crusades at least. More people have died in the name of Jesus Christ than anybody in history. Good I'll God. also tell you this: sick trilogy. I'll <laughs> also tell you this: um, the uh, we we were thinking about doing this show, and we were uh, you know messing around like a couple bugs, and I said, "Look, why call it Nightstand? It makes no sense." We don't, we're not knights. I we don't do anything tooth medieval. And nail for we some could reason. have come up with a better name than this. Uh, we what were some of your potential names? Dog. I had like uh, the Velvet Bellman. Crap. Had, that's all I Wait, had. Wait, the Porous Horus. The Gray Scrubber. Oh, that's good. That one's from what, Dune? The Silken Nilkin? Why are we rhyming? Listen to me. <laughs> Listen to me for one second. If anybody's Nilkin out of the two of us, it's going to be me. You're right. No, there's no... I mean, when I look at Am you... Am I I'm Silken? If yeah. I have to touch your arm... That, that's not like this show. like a silverback ape with that arm. That's not this show. Rip my arm out of the socket. Yeah, hmm. I mean, you know, I know we mentioned Robin Williams last last episode, but hairy Obsessed, arms... Obsessed, bro. You know? So the Colossus of Rhodes, this guy yes. stood over, uh, I wouldn't say some estuary. No, it must have been a river. I like that you this dropped estuary. I like that. Learned. Yeah. He was formally educated, I believe, at a broadcasting school. <laughs> I actually went to college, but I, then I did go to broadcasting school. You wouldn't know it by this bullshit. So look. The, I wouldn't undersell. We haven't even got to half of one of these okay. wonders. Colossus of Rhodes stood over an estuary. Go. We, it wasn't an estuary. It was a massive river. What I want to call like a mouth. Are you just checking what's For up? For the next. This man's Instagram DMs are lit up like a mo f olympic torch yeah, they're binging let's go to the next one there was okay, a big statue yeah. over a river yeah which was crazy yeah yeah um the great pyramid of giza can we all agree Listen. aliens i heard this was a uh, actual um biological or, or nuclear reactor <laughs> with the queen's tomb and the energy and the light and the gases yeah. this is real you gotta check the documentary aliens saying it here for definitely not the first time okay well i think that's actually we've covered it man because I was going to say it got done uh, through slavery, but that can't be right. No, truly slavery. Okay. And what, <laughs> That's fantastic. What, what's next? Hang gardens whoa, whoa, whoa. Of Just so we know, there were slaves in ancient Egypt. This isn't just an American problem. It's been throughout history. Problem. Wow. Hashtag problem. Very well spoken. Very woke. And I'm not so, trying to... Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Okay. Mad plants dangling yes i would i would think many many misters shrubbery talking about no whorehouse many many misters you heard i won't even ask to what you're referring i'm talking about misting the plants oh misters i thought you meant like misters as in john's that's why i said not a whorehouse <sighs> keep up with us here it was probably both god bless sex work that's why they call it babylon right because yeah first four letters are b-a-b-y that's baby mad pregnancies and mad then plants so so what you're gonna go with for the third one is mad baby mad baby mm -hmm. okay so we'll move on to number four the statue of zeus at olympia i mean okay. that man threw lightning bolts he definitely impregnated a human woman to give birth to i believe hercules right is that just the disney talking i think you're real close to the truth first of all you describe zeus as a man uh. big red x wait for it but why do they always make them look like men? That doesn't make sense. Because to me. most cultures would say that men are created in the, the image, image of their of, creators. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Right? Sounds like garbage to me. All right. So we have little Hercules coming out of some womb, impregnated by a god Zeus, and there was a statue built of him at Olympia. Google it. I'm I mean, sure it's fascinating. It doesn't even sound that intriguing. The Temple of Artemis at Ephesus. I mean, oh, okay. all I know this Ephesus one I know from, nothing about. No, all I know is the the word Ephesus just sounds like uh, like an epileptic uh, sort of seizure. Ephesus. I'm Ephesing. The only thing I know about Artemis was that that was the uh, what I would say the supporting character in Ready Player One. Oh, that's true. Yeah, and also Artemis was definitely in. I feel like Hades one of my favorite switch games uh but i really can't remember if that's true i think it is i think they shot arrows i mean look nobody over the age of i would say probably 13 owns a switch now i could be generalizing oh, that is a hundred percent baseless could have been <laughs> The okay. video game industry has grown billions and billions of dollars is and almost true? outsells like all other mediums. That's uh, a real thing. What about thing. pornography? 
You might, I don't. You, there that... are still guys buying VHS tapes of women from 1986. All I know about uh, 70s pornography would be like Debbie's Debbie Does Dallas. Is that a thing? That is a thing. Um, I don't know anything about 70s pornography. Most of my pornography would be like 80s, 90s. Very good, sir. Very yeah. good. Yeah. Um, Even then, I don't endorse it. I'm just saying when I did see it, it would have been the previous century. I see, sir. I'm sure we I've all changed. have uh, visual images that we're working with at this time. I want to thank Barry for that. Um, we're going next to the mausoleum at Halicarnassus. Oh, man, Mad Tombs. A Mad Tombs, but another one we have probably no idea mm. what it looks like. And Hit me with it. Oh, the, the mausoleum? Yeah, I, I think if I... Oh, go ahead. I'm going to say it's large. Yes. There's many slots. Sure. A lot of bones. For sure. Definitely dark. Yes. I would say dank. I was about to say damp. Damp and dank are the same thing. What about damp? Oh, damp. That's I, the dude that sells me that nickel bag outside 7-Eleven, right. which I mentioned last time. So 7-Eleven, you're paying attention. You got a drug problem? There's ice on your walkways? I almost bought the farm earlier. Okay. But. Tell you what, man. What are those things called that roll on that shit all day? I don't know, but after building this set, I don't think you can buy any farms. What is that thing rolling on the thing in 7-Eleven? Rolling on the thing? It's oh, a, the hot dog. It's or, a greasy... Oh, like a... Uh, uh, I used to love these. Buffalo chicken oh, taquitos. taquito. So... Used to love those. I love a taquito. Still do. Listen, if no one was around... Now, I'm a, I'm a vegan. I mentioned that before. Now, I, I have leather boots on. I'm a vegan eater, right? Uh... Oh, yes. So if no one was around and it was late at night, <laughs> dude, if it was 3 p.m., let's be honest. If no one knew me, I would eat a taquito, yeah, clean 100%. up my face with a napkin and be like, you know what? No one saw me, dude, so it didn't take place. I want one of those rollers. Now, Now I don't eat meat either, but I I want those taquitos with just cheese, and I, I think I would just pop you, and not stop. Bro, you want that like mechanically separated pork you really do your body wants that i think that is technically what it wants but as far as how it got there aye, aye, aye. no a, me a maqueque <laughs> a maqueque okay a, a so, mechanism separated it halicarnassus if i ever have a, have a child i will name it halicarnassus i'm with you 100 percent on that i'm in ask me in the next week i agree then ask me last tuesday i agree then. yep and just you know teach them to treat others like you want to be treated. Dog, don't bring me down that Sesame Street. <sighs> I don't have to do it, man. It's not up to me. Lighthouse of Alexandria. What oh, do you think? So this is a That's big, one. big, big lighthouse. Do you think the biggest? I mean, we don't know because it's not there anymore. But I want to say there's some correlation between that crazy ass lighthouse and Atlantis. Oh, my Christ. Atlantis. So that an Atlantis is when you study Atlantis and you're... <laughs> Uh, like the best at it? Yeah. See, you didn't know this about me. It's funny. I feel like you would be the you worst Atlantis. Listen, I'm the only and best Atlantis anyone's ever seen. No, actually, but you're the first Atlantis. Are you a Pacificist? Oh, dude. I will cut you in half. I am a I geez. took the Titanic down, bro. What'd you do? Go I'm a Hawaii? No, I'm a cheesist. Oh. Right? Yeah. You uh, are cheesy. I know, but no, all uh, vegans are heroes. I will say that. Listen, um, vegans save lives. I'm wearing leather boots and a leather belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are Indian death marches. I've seen the tapes with- I don't watch that. These poor cattle, but we don't have to get into Isn't that. there a documentary on YouTube about uh, the animal industry and big food and big farms? Like, and big... I think there's like hundreds. That big one, though, Earthlings, will make you sick. If Earthlings. You ever wanna, if you ever want to vomit, watch Earthlings. <laughs> Narrated by Joaquin Phoenix, that shit is lit. We've covered the seven wonders of the world. I would say in more detail than I would say Oxford University could deliver. Doubt it. F a Harvard. Doubt it. Ain't trying to see Provin Pr Princeton. Doubt it. Stanford ain't got nothing to scream about. Diggity doubt it. <laughs> but uh, if you don't feel like you've been educated by this, <laughs> which, hey, watch for this one. Leave it in the comments. Oh my gosh, he said and, it. And uh, <clears throat> like, subscribe. Subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications oh, so that you yeah. know when our videos are popping. That yeah. is something that youthful folks I say. I just don't know. I was going to say, I don't know if middle-aged men can say popping. Right. Unless think, we're talking about, like, adult onset acne yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. Onset? I also think we should discuss that, like, you know, nobody really wants to see two 40-year-old white men talking. Oh, another white group of men talking? Yeah. What are we doing? Drafting a document to take down a fucking government? And shit. It, it really is just... Uh, We've had enough. 100% true. We're pretty progressive. Yeah, I mean, you're an Atlantist. I'm a cheesist. And, you know, we get shit done. 
in the realms of education. I'm a history major and know nothing about history. True story. Pray to you. Listen, good hanging out. Yeah. Love you. I'll definitely lick your plate if you're down. Don't eat gelatin and have a great Thursdays. 